Rachel was right. As Trusty peered at the roots of the tree, Polly the Proddy Fun Fairy fluttered into the air, waving her wand happily. She wore a sparkly blue tank top and matching pants with a purple belt. Long red hair tumbled over her shoulders in shiny waves. I'm, glad, I'm so glad to see you, girls, she called in a silvery voice that tinkled like a bell. Her green eyes dim with joy. I was hoping you'd come and find me. Is everything all right? asked Trusty, gently picking up her cheek. Polly looked sad for a moment. Well, I lost my party bag, she said, looking around. I'm sure I put it down here somewhere, but I can't find it. She gave a little giggle. The other party fairies say I am always losing things. Maybe a, gob uh, a goblin stole it, Rachel suggested. No, I don't think so. Polly shook her head, not looking worried at all. I haven't seen a single goblin anywhere. Trusty and Rachel looked at each other anxiously. After what had happened at the mini jamboree so far, they were pretty sure that there was a goblin lurking somewhere nearby. But before they had a chance to convince Polly, they heard Jenny calling from the clearing. Trusty, Rachel, where are you? We're going to play frisbee now. You go and play, Rachel said with a smile. I'll keep looking for my party bag. Rachel agreed. But Polly, please be careful. Trusty and I think there might be a goblin nearby. We will come and see you again later, Trusty promised. Cradling her cheek in her hand, she and Rachel hurried back to join the others. Put your cheek in here, Trusty, said Mrs. Carter, pointing to a large cardboard box. I'll take all of them to the local farm later. They have a lot of free range chickens there, so that these chicks will have a good home. Mrs. Talbot organized the explorers into a circle, and they began throwing the frisbee to each other. It was fun, and Christy and Rachel were enjoying themselves. But at the same time, they couldn't help thinking about Polly and her missing party bag. What if a goblin had gotten a hold of it? Suddenly, one of the explorers tossed the frisbee high, very high into the air towards Trusty. It sailed over Trusty's head and landed in a bush under the tree where Polly was searching for her party bag. Trusty raced off towards the bush. I'll get that, she shouted. She couldn't risk Polly being spotted by any of the other girls. I will help you look for it, Rachel called, running after her. Behind them, Mrs. Tabot was saying, Well, that's enough frisbee for now, girls. Let's have ju some juice and cookies. Phew, that was close, Trusty whispered as she and Rachel stopped underneath the tree. Where's Polly? Here I am, thought a tiny voice. The girls looked up. Polly was perched on a branch above their head, swinging her legs. Did you find your bag? asked Rachel. Polly's shimmering wings drooped a little. No, she sighed. Where could it be? Then she brightened. But I know where your frisbee is, she added, pointing downward. It's right in the middle of that bush. Thanks, Polly, said Trusty. She and Rachel began to push the leaves aside, looking around for the frisbee. As they did, Polly suddenly cried out in alarm. The girls walked around to face her. She pointed to a spot nearby. Girls, watch out, there's a goblin. 